Spain, a land known for its sun-drenched beaches and vibrant culture, is facing a very different reality. Torrential rains have lashed the country, unprecedented floods have engulfed entire towns and cities. This is a disaster of immense proportions, leaving a trail of destruction and heartbreak in its wake. The suddenness and ferocity of the floods caught many by surprise. Homes and businesses were swallowed by rising waters, roads transformed into raging rivers, cutting off entire communities. The deluge has left Spain reeling, struggling to comprehend the scale of the catastrophe. The floods have brought life to a standstill. Transportation, communication and essential services have been severely disrupted. The true cost of this disaster is still being tallied, but the early figures are staggering. Over 200 precious lives have been lost, a grim reminder of nature's unforgiving power. Thousands more are displaced, their homes and livelihoods swept away in the blink of an eye. The regions of Valencia, Castile, La Manche, and Andalusia have borne the brunt of the floods. The human toll is immeasurable. Families mourn loved ones lost. Survivors grapple with trauma and the daunting task of rebuilding their shattered lives. The scars left by these floods will run deep, both physically and emotionally. The recovery process is expected to be long and arduous, potentially taking years for the affected areas to fully rebuild. Even in the darkest of times, the human spirit shines through. Across Spain, a wave of compassion and solidarity has emerged. Thousands of volunteers, their hearts filled with empathy, have answered the call for help. Volunteers are involved in various tasks, including rescuing stranded individuals, distributing food and water, providing medical assistance, and clearing debris. These everyday heroes, armed with shovels and unwavering spirit, are working tirelessly to clear debris, provide aid, and offer comfort to those in need. Their selfless actions are a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of human kindness in the face of adversity. Yes, numerous organizations like the Red Cross and local charities are accepting donations to provide essential supplies and support to those affected. Amidst the outpouring of support, there is a palpable sense of anger and frustration directed at the government. Many feel let down by the authorities, their cries for help seemingly unanswered. People are criticizing the government for inadequate preparedness, delayed warnings, and a slow and poorly coordinated relief effort. The lack of adequate preparedness and the perceived slowness of the relief efforts have fueled public outrage. Questions are being asked, demanding accountability. This disaster has exposed vulnerabilities, raising serious concerns about Spain's emergency response mechanisms. The government has defended its actions, claiming it acted swiftly, but also acknowledging the need for a thorough review of the emergency response system. Section 5. A king confronts his people's pain. In a moment heavy with symbolism, King Felipe VI and Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez visited the devastated town of Paiporta. Their mission to witness the devastation firsthand and offer condolences to the grieving community. What was the significance of the king's visit to Paiporta? The visit was seen as a crucial test for the monarchy, an opportunity to demonstrate empathy and connect with the people during a national crisis. But their presence was met with raw emotion. Residents, overwhelmed by grief and anger, voiced their frustrations directly to their king. It was a raw and unscripted encounter, laying bare the raw emotions unleashed by the disaster. How did the king respond to the people's anger and grief? The king listened patiently to the residents' concerns, offering words of comfort and support. His response was widely perceived as empathetic and genuine. Section 6. Symbol or Leader – The Monarchy's Role in Crisis the King's visit to Paiporta has sparked a national conversation about the role of the monarchy in times of crisis. His presence in the flood-affected areas has brought both hope and scrutiny. As a figurehead, his power is largely symbolic. The monarchy, steeped in tradition and history, often serves as a unifying symbol for the nation. Yet, his actions or inaction carry immense weight. The King's presence can galvanize public sentiment and bring attention to critical issues. What are the differing viewpoints on the monarchy's role in such situations? The debate is multifaceted, with strong opinions on both sides. Some believe the monarchy's role is purely symbolic, offering comfort and support. They argue that the king's presence provides a sense of stability and continuity in turbulent times. Others argue for a more proactive role, 
using their influence to drive action and hold authorities accountable. They believe the king should leverage his position to advocate for policy changes and resource allocation. Can a king's presence alone soothe the nation's wounds? The emotional impact of his visits cannot be underestimated, but is it enough? Can his words inspire hope when homes and livelihoods lie in ruins? The power of his speeches lies in their ability to uplift and motivate, but tangible actions are also necessary. These are questions that resonate deeply in the heart of a nation grappling with tragedy. The role of the monarchy in modern times is continually evolving, especially in the face of such crises. Has the king announced any specific initiatives or actions in response to the floods? His recent statements have hinted at new measures and collaborations with relief organizations. While the king doesn't hold direct political power, he has pledged to use his influence to advocate for support and resources for the affected communities. His commitment to the cause is seen as a beacon of hope for many. Section 7. The Uncomfortable Truth, Climate Change and Our Future as Spain picks up the pieces, a stark reality casts a long shadow over the nation's future climate change. The aftermath of these floods is a clear indication of the urgent need to address this global crisis. Scientists warn that extreme weather events, like these devastating floods, are becoming more frequent and intense. The data is irrefutable. We are witnessing a pattern that is only expected to worsen if no action is taken. How does climate change contribute to extreme weather events like floods? The answer lies in the complex interplay between rising temperatures and atmospheric conditions. Climate change leads to rising global temperatures, disrupting weather patterns, and increasing the frequency and intensity of heavy rainfall, leading to more severe floods. This disruption is not just a future scenario, it is happening now. The floods in Spain are a stark reminder that climate change is not a distant threat. It is a present danger, impacting lives and livelihoods right now. The devastation we see today could become a common occurrence if we do not act. It is a present danger impacting lives and livelihoods right now. Families are being displaced, homes are being destroyed, and communities are being torn apart. The time for action is long overdue. We must come together to demand change and implement solutions that can mitigate these impacts. What steps can be taken to mitigate the impacts of climate change and prevent future disasters? The solutions are within our reach, but they require collective effort and commitment. Addressing climate change requires a multi-pronged approach, including reducing greenhouse gas emissions, investing in renewable energy, and transitioning to a more sustainable way of living and implementing sustainable land management practices. By taking these steps, we can build a more resilient future and protect our planet for generations to come. Section 8 from tragedy to triumph, the long road ahead. The road to recovery will be long and arduous, filled with numerous challenges and obstacles that will test the resilience and determination of the affected communities. But even amidst the ruins, there is hope. Hope that springs from the smallest signs of life, like a plant growing amidst the rubble, and from the acts of kindness and solidarity shown by people coming together in times of need. The resilience of the human spirit is truly remarkable. It is in these moments of crisis that we see the best of humanity as people show incredible strength and determination to rebuild their lives and support one another. The unwavering dedication of volunteers who selflessly give their time and energy to help those in need is a testament to the power of community and collective action. And the growing awareness of the climate crisis offers glimmers of optimism. People are beginning to understand the urgent need to address the root causes of such disasters and to take meaningful action to mitigate their impact. What are the immediate priorities for the affected communities in Spain? The immediate priorities include securing shelter, food and medical care for the displaced, as well as restoring essential services and infrastructure. The immediate priorities include securing shelter, food and clean water to ensure that the basic needs of the affected population are met. Medical care for the displaced is crucial, as is restoring essential services such as electricity, clean water and sanitation to prevent further health crises. Assessing the extent of the damage is also a critical step in the recovery process as it helps to identify the most urgent needs and allocate resources effectively. This tragedy has tested Spain, but it has also revealed its strength. The resilience and solidarity shown by the people are a source of inspiration and hope for the future. 
The outpouring of support, both within the country and from the international community, demonstrates the power of human compassion and the willingness to help those in need. The outpouring of support, both within the country and from the international community, has been overwhelming. It shows that in times of crisis, people from all walks of life can come together to make a difference. This demonstrates the power of human compassion and the impact that collective efforts can have in alleviating suffering and rebuilding lives. Now, the focus must shift to rebuilding not just homes and infrastructure, but also lives and communities. This process will require sustained effort and collaboration from all sectors of society. Rebuilding homes and infrastructure is essential, but equally important is the need to rebuild the social fabric of the affected communities, fostering a sense of belonging and support. Community events and gatherings can play a vital role in this process, helping people to reconnect and find joy amidst the challenges. How can individuals contribute to the long-term recovery and rebuilding efforts? Individuals can contribute by donating to reputable organizations, volunteering their time and skills, and advocating for policies that address climate change and strengthen disaster preparedness. Donations to reputable organizations can provide much-needed financial support for relief and rebuilding efforts. Volunteering time and skills can make a significant impact, whether it's through teaching, building, cleaning, or providing specialized services. Advocating for policies that address climate change and strengthen disaster preparedness is also crucial in preventing future disasters and ensuring that communities are better equipped to handle them. This is a call to action. Let the spirit of solidarity that has emerged from this tragedy inspire us all to take meaningful steps towards a more resilient and sustainable future. Let the spirit of solidarity that has emerged from this tragedy inspire us all. Together, we can make a difference and help Spain heal, rebuild and emerge stronger from this disaster. Together, we can help Spain heal, rebuild and emerge stronger from this disaster. The journey ahead will be challenging, but with collective effort and determination, it is possible. Let us not just mourn the losses, but honor the resilience of the human spirit. Let us celebrate the strength and determination of those who are working tirelessly to rebuild their lives and communities. Let us not just mourn the losses, but honor the resilience of the human spirit. Let us remember those who have been lost and support those who are still fighting to recover. Let us honor the resilience of the human spirit and the strength of those who have survived. Their stories are a testament to the power of hope and determination. Let us learn from this tragedy and work towards a future where communities are better prepared to face the growing challenges of a changing climate. Education and awareness are key to building resilience and preventing future disasters. Let us work towards a future where communities are better prepared to face the growing challenges of a changing climate. Through climate adaptation projects and resilience building activities, we can create a safer and more sustainable world for future